Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to create a measure using the sum function in Power BI. So there are multiple ways to create a measure and think of measure as a formula. For those of you coming from the Excel background, except that the measure will apply to the whole of the selected columns. So in, in Excel you, we specify the columns, but in this case if we specify a column name it takes the whole, it applies to the whole of that column. And there are multiple ways to define a measure. So one is you can go into the modeling tab and click on new measure or quick measure and define the measure. But I find that difficult to deal with sometimes because it depending on whichever table is selected on the right, it puts the measure in that table and then I might have to go back and move it into the table I want to. So the other option which I like is that you look at the three ellipses here and you click on new measure. So it'll put it into the fact internet sales table. And you can see it's already put in, so you can see the home table name. And I'll just call it uh, sum of sales. And then I can say sum, so sum is the function. And it's saying add all, it's, so you can see it's, it's um, a tooltip which is adds all the numbers in a column. So I'll just open the brackets and then I'll say total sales. And you can see the, uh, the syntax here that it is using, it is giving the table name and the column name because it is possible. So I'm using the sales amount um, and you can see the syntax. So it is the fact internet sales table, sales amount column. So I could um, just do tab and it selects that and close the brackets and hit enter. So this measure has been created for us and you can see this sum of sales measure, but this measure doesn't get materialized. So uh, this measure gets calculated on the fly when you uh, bring this, uh, this measure into your Power BI. So it, it is not materialized if I go into my fact internet sales table and I go to uh, the, the table, it is not materialized, but if, if let's say I, let me just create a quick um, or let's just go here and what we'll do is we'll just create a card let me remove this I'll use a card here so let me just that and then I'll just say oops let me just get the column name sum of sales so I'll just drag and drop it here and it's gotten calculated and with you can see it's the same as the sales amount in the table here so in this video we've learned how to create a measure in Power BI using DAX formula and as we go along we'll be building more complex measures and we'll be understanding other topics as well uh, so thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoy it uh, do let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics around DAX. Cheers. Bye.